everyone and welcome to part 20 of Let's Play The Sims 4 City Living. So it's a morning after Nicole watched that news report and she's understandably very upset right now. She's worried about how what happened will affect her family and whether her parents will stay together. And she's really upset with her father for doing something like this. And it just really changed her opinion of him because as I touched on back in the first part, she always looked up to her father and thought he was an honest politician and didn't do anything shady to get to where he is and lived by what he, you know, lived by the values he said he did. And while this doesn't have anything to do with policy, he always said in speeches how he was a family man and family values were so important to him and all of that good stuff. And yet he cheated on her mother and had a child with someone else who he probably ignored. I mean, that other daughter of his is family, so it was wrong of him to turn his back on her even though Nicole doesn't really know the full story behind it yet and this whole thing is just making her wonder what else her father may have may be hiding and just caused her to lose a lot of the respect that she had for him and she's also mad at Jay the woman who her father had an affair with for breaking the news the way she did because I mean she could have come to the family first and warned them and let them know what had happened years ago but Instead, she just went straight to the news, making it so that strangers were finding out this very personal thing at the same time they were. Um, so that was just a huge blow there. But at the same time, she wants to meet her and also get to know the sister of hers because she's really curious about her. And then there's also the issue of what this means for her career. Because uh, so while she isn't really you know, that well-known, she's pretty pretty low-level politician. Um, she's not sure what's going to happen if and when it comes out that... William has children that are also politicians. You know, she's not sure what the public is going to think of her for that. She's not sure if they're going to expect her to stay, take some kind of stance on this, like whether she has to condemn her father or say that she stands by them. She's not really sure what her stance is either because, like I said, she's just really upset with him. So she's just not really sure, you know, what she would say about him public publicly now. So that's not really something she wants to have to deal with. Mm -hmm for a while and understandably since uh, you know she is going through something difficult right now she did take off work so we're gonna just be having her stay at home today kind of just figuring out how to you know what to do about the situation and but I think we'll have Chloe go ahead and give Nicole a hug because she can tell that or try to cheer up whoever we'll try to cheer her up and give her a hug and be there for her because she is her friend and I think Chloe you know could be helpful to Nicole in this situation because her mother was in or well she I mean, I guess she was kind of, well, she wasn't really in a similar situation because, I mean, her, so her mother was in the position, I guess, Jay is in the situation where, um, you know, like I said before, Desi was born kind of in the same situation that Nicole's mysterious sister was born in and, you know, Bjorn, who was the father of Desi, paid Amanda to keep quiet on the whole thing. So Chloe's kind of familiar with the situation, so I think she could be you know, someone good for Nicole to talk to. And then uh, ooh, it looks like Nicole's sadness has kind of gone to anger. So she's just going through a mix of anger and sadness after this whole over this whole thing. She's just kind of flip-flopping between those two emotions. But uh, we're going to have Chloe work from home because she could tell Nicole's going through a really hard time. So she wants to be there for her. But at the same time, she doesn't want to completely miss work. So she's just going to kind of make it so she can stay at home and work from here and just kind of be there for Nicole if she needs her and it looks like we got a little bit of a traffic jam in the bathroom oh no she's oh she's talking to herself in the mirror but while the situation is pretty similar to the one we had with Bjorn and Amanda and my get together let's play there are some differences because we do have the involvement of of um politics so there's kind of a public eye in the situation and also we're going to be seeing it from the other side because before we're playing it from the point of the view you know, we're playing it from the other side before it's my get together let's play. So, you know, in this one we'll kind of get to see it from the side of the family who, or the family whose member had the affair. And uh, we'll also have a little bit more time to explore the situation because in my get together let's play, the whole thing was revealed at the very end of the let's play. So, yeah, not a whole lot of time to see the fallout with Bjorn's family. Um, so, we'll get to see more of that in this let's play. But I did get the idea to do this whole thing from a household that was made back in the beginning of the Let's Play when I asked you all to make households that I could add in. Uh, because 8 out of 24 made Jay and her daughter Mina. And they didn't say in the description of the family explicitly that Mina was a daughter born out of an affair between 
William and Jay, but, you know, they did say, you know, they, they strongly hinted that that was what the case was, so I've been trying to figure out a way to, inter you know, I, I was trying to figure out a way to introduce that whole thing to the Let's Play, and, um, yeah, I thought the news report thing when he was running for an election would be a good way to do that, but it looks like this is messed up again, what are we, oh, we got roaches, yay, roaches, so yeah, now the apartment's starting to get all gross and messed up. Uh, okay, well, maybe we could have her attempt to repair this. And, oh, we also got the smelly thing going on. Where is that in this apartment? Yeah, so not a good day for the apartment to be acting up. Because, I mean, she's got enough that she's dealing with. And, oh, there's a mouse. Yay, everything's going wrong in here. Woo. Okay, fine. Yeah, remember to pay her rent on time for this crap hole. I mean, it looks nice, but it's got its issues. It's kind of like, I feel like this is kind of like one of those places that they renovate to make it look nicely, but they don't, they just kind of cover up the issues that are there rather than fixing them. So yeah, it looks nice, but it's got all sorts of issues that come out. Oh, what is this? Made it worse. Yay. Okay. So we're going to stop having her try to fix that because she's apparently making it worse. And we should have Chloe get on with practicing her writing for, what do you have to do? Practice writing for three hours. Yeah. So we'll ever do that, which is actually a good, you know, it's going to be a good thing because she needs to get a writing skill up for, um, for this. So, but let's just have her practice writing for a little bit. Um, as for the spraying graffiti thing, I might just do that on my own after the part. Um, but in a little bit, I wanted to have Nicole invite over her mom because, um, you know, she knows that her mom's probably going through a really tough time with this. So she feels like she should be there for her mom. She knows her mom's off work today. So she wants to just invite her over here. Um, hopefully we can get this place looking a little bit better. It's kind of unfortunate that everything's just going wrong when she wants to invite her mom over. But yeah, she she's kind of feeling like, you know, they could support each other through this and that her mom could pro probably needs her. Um, she doesn't want to talk to her father, though, because she's just pissed off at him and just doesn't really want to deal with him right now. So eventually she'll talk to her father, but today's not the day that she wants to do this. But yeah, she doesn't want to invite her mom over and make sure she's doing fine and, you know, just see how she's taking this whole thing. Uh, okay, Chloe, are we going to be practicing our writing? Because we really need to do that. Let's, let's, uh, I guess the mouse keeps distracting her. We might have to, uh, we might have to just invite her over the landlord to take care of this because her trying to fix this just is not going well. She's making it worse, so probably be best to just invite the landlord over and hope that they'll take care of everything. And did we, did we get our rent? I don't know, we got the thing. Oh, we have to pay our rent. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go pay that just to make sure she comes over and fixes things. Where is a smelly spot in here, though? Because they're getting that thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that is in this apartment. Yeah, I should probably figure that out. I don't know if it's over here. Yeah, are we still getting that? Yeah, they're getting that. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really seeing it. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's hidden in here. Oh, and it looks like we also got another angry moodlet. Oh, noisy neighbors. Uh, ooh! Okay, it looks like they got someone over. Well, I think we're gonna have her pound on the door because, I mean, she's just... She's got a lot that she's going through right now. I think her patience is probably a little thin right now, so... We're just gonna have her go right to pounding on the door. No being polite, knocking politely and all that. Uh, so, oh, looks like they stopped. All right, are they gonna come out or what are they gonna do? What's gonna happen here? Okay, apparently they are just gonna be quiet now and they're not gonna come out. Uh, yeah, so once this whole thing is sorted, I think we're gonna have her invite her mom over just to check in on her. Oh wait, it looks like she's right. Oh, look at you wearing a towel. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what you were doing in there. Are you just, are you just, is, is she just like nervously deciding whether or not she wants to go out there to this angry neighbor of hers? Like, what are you? What are you doing? Okay, then. Um, apparently, she's just going to be chicken and not come out there. All right, fine, then. Well, I guess that problem was taken care of. Okay, let's just go back inside. Uh, I don't know if we should wait for the landlord to leave to invite her mother over. I mean, maybe we should, because probably not the best. Yeah, we probably don't want to bring her mom over when there's cockroaches crawling over the place. So we'll hold on, hold off on that for a little bit. And how is Chloe doing with her writing? Okay, did we do that? Okay, so we've only practiced writing for one hour. So it's a little later in the afternoon and the landlord is left and the apartment is looking much more presentable. So we're going to go ahead 
and have Nicole invite her mom over and uh, like I was saying, see how she's doing. So invite to hang out at the current lot. I'm pretty sure she has off work today, so she should be free. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could tell right here. I forgot that. Yep, she has off work today, so we're good. She can come over and she will be right over. Awesome. Uh, and yeah, she's um not, not too happy. A little bit upset right now, understandably. Uh, so let's go ahead and can we just, I don't know, we'll ask about her day, see how she's doing. They still, so the, the landlord didn't take care of whatever the mysterious smell is, and I still, I don't know if I just covered it up with something, but I still cannot figure out where that stupid smell is coming from. Uh, so yeah, that's not good, that's kind of annoying, but uh, let's ever try to calm her mom down. She can tell that she's a little bit upset. Okay, nope, that's not working, that's not helping. Probably complaining about her father. Um, so we can we can have the two of them just have a deep conversation, and perhaps we could have them sit here on the couch or be a little bit cozier, a little nicer than just standing around and talking. So we can have her go ahead and ask about her father. I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, we could do the whole ask about another sim thing. So yeah, let's go down and have her ask about him. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to give us, but just going to ask, like, what's going on with her dad? Uh, what's going on with that? Okay, so we got that. William is my ball and chain. We're married. Yep, you are. But, of course, she's really upset with William over what he did. Because, I mean, all this time she thought they had a wonderful marriage. You know, she was always in love with him. It didn't really, you know, they, they had their normal fights that married couples have. But she didn't think that their marriage was bad or anything like that. So she's just, you know, shocked that... He had an affair all those years ago, and he said it was just, it was a couple of times, it was just a very brief affair, but that Jay told him that she was pregnant, and he was shocked by it, and he didn't know, didn't know what to do, and he remembered that his friend Bjorn Bergson had brought, you know, he had an affair that resulted in pregnancy, and he kind of bribed the woman to keep her mouth shut about it, and it worked for a bit, I mean, unfortunately, he eventually blew up in his face, but it did take, you know, it was a long time before that happened, so he kind of thought, okay, maybe I could do the same thing, and it won't blow up on my face someday, he just really wanted to kind of, he kind of wanted to just make it, make so everything was okay at the moment, you know, he wanted to put off there being, you know, it, it potentially coming out, you know, he was just thinking about that moment and hoping that it wouldn't blow up in his face someday, and it did, uh, so yeah, that happened. So he had been giving Jay money throughout the years, and Carl had always noticed a bit of money being taken out of the account, but he always made excuses for it, um, like it was money for a campaign or something like that, so Carla just kind of, you know, believed him and didn't really ask too many questions about it, but now it's make now a lot of things are making sense to Carla, and she's just not sure what she wants to do, whether she wants to stick with him, um, you know, because they had, you know, their marriage has been good over the years, so she's not sure that she wants to completely give up on that, but at the same time, like, she's just furious with him and can't believe that he kept the secret from her for all these years and had an affair and all that stuff, so part of her also wants to just give up on the marriage and get a divorce, but she's just, she's not sure where she wants to go now, and she's telling Nicole that she just really wants to kind of take some time away from William to figure out what she wants, so she's saying that, uh, oh, I guess she's lecturing her about her apartment or something like that, I don't know. Um... But anyway, she's telling Nicole that she thinks she's just going to stay at a hotel for a little bit. You know, just kind of take some, you know, give some distance between her and him. But uh, Nicole doesn't want her mom to stay at a hotel, so we're going to see if we can have her ask her to... Ooh, okay. Um, anyway, we're going to see if we can ask her to move in with us. Just ha let her stay here for a little bit. Um, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen now, because uh, she's kind of taking her anger out on her a little bit. So we'll just... Try to be nicer a little bit, see if we can get the relationship back up to where we can do that. Or I might just go into manage worlds and do it myself, because I really wanted to have her invite her mom to stay here with her, like offer to let her sleep in her bed, and then she would take the couch. It looks like she's being difficult, uh, so yeah, I might just have to do it the manage worlds way. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to work if we try to calm her down, because she's just, yeah, really... Pissed off from the whole thing, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really unfortunate how quickly a few negative interactions can drag down a relationship. Um, so, I don't know, we'll have her go in here and try to calm her down and see if maybe that works. And uh, if we can't get the relationship back up, then I'll just move her back in myself. 
Okay, yeah, I don't I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, maybe it did. Yeah, it looks like we're actually helping her to calm down. Alright, so that's good. Okay, she's not angry anymore. Now she's flirty, so um, that's good. We might be able to build this back up a little bit. Because I would like to actually have her ask her to move her in. Um, rather than just moving her in while she's pissed off. Alright, so I had them talk a bit more and got the relationship back up. So we're going to have her ask her mom to stay with her. Just invite, you know, offer to let her stay with her instead of at a hotel. Which might be, you know, probably be a little nicer. Um, so uh, we'll just cancel out a few of these. To get to that and uh, I think Chloe got her writing for three hours thing done yep looks like she finished that so I'll take care of the spraying graffiti thing on my own and I just realized she has been in her PJs all day uh, so let's have her put some clothes on oh I gave her another outfit because uh, now that she's you know one of the main sims that we're playing I figured she needed a third outfit like the rest of the sims uh yep so let's go do this all right, Nicole's mom's actually in their household now, and I'm not sure how long I'm going to be having her stay with them, like whether I'm still going to have her with these two when I come back to them next time. I don't know, maybe I'll have her moved out then. But either way, I don't think she's going to be staying here too, too long, um, just until she sorts out things with her husband. Um, but I want to see how she was, because she was angry, angry before. So it looks like that angry moodlet is actually gone, so Nicole did manage to calm her down and make her feel a lot better. And I was thinking that now that these two are... Feeling a little bit better about the situation, we could have them head over here to the karaoke lounge. Um, Nicole could suggest that they go there to just take their minds off of things and relax a little bit. So I think we'll have just Carla and Nicole go there, just have kind of a mother-daughter bonding thing. Or actually, we can, we can include Chloe in this too. Yeah, we'll bring Chloe along. So everyone has arrived here, and it looks like Cyrus is also here, which might be kind of awkward because of what happened between him and Chloe last time. But I think we'll get started with some mother-daughter karaoke. Uh, so let's do a pop duet. Yeah, we'll have these two just go over here and have some fun. Uh, wait, was Chloe about to try? Okay, no, Chloe wasn't about to do this. Do karaoke. Um, so yeah, about the whole thing with Chloe last time. She went into that whole dinner thing, um, you know, sitting as just a friend thing. Was looking forward to kind of rekindling their friendship. But then as she was... So, oh, I guess they're saying hi to each other from... Okay, no, sorry. Um, but anyway, as they were sitting across from each other, she couldn't help but think about what could have been had they had gone together. So she asked him if he ever still thought about the possibility of the two of them getting together. And, um, you know, he just kind of was like, no, look, I'm seeing Mila, I'm sorry, but I just, you know, I... It's probably not best anything happened between us. And then she just felt embarrassed about bringing up the whole thing. And the rest of the night was awkward. It looks like Grimmy's here again. Why is Grim the Grim Reaper there every time I get to a karaoke bar? Like, I swear, every time he's there. But, um, yeah, it looks like she just came right up here to Cyrus. So, um, I don't know. I guess we'll have him ask her, ask him about his day and chat with him. Even though it might be a bit awkward after what happened, but let's, uh, oh, darn, I missed their whole karaoke number. Ah, darn, I kind of wanted to see that. Oh, well, we could probably have them do that again, but, uh, what are we doing now? Okay, so we're going into this room, uh, where Cyrus is, and everyone else is crowding around. Um, so we can have her, so we'll have her, I guess we'll have her say hi to Cyrus, too. We'll have her be friendly with him, because, I mean, well, she has mixed feelings about him moving on, she, you know, now that he, she, he, now that she knows he's moving on with someone else, she feels, you know, less like he's still hoping to get back together with her, a little more willing to be friends with her. And Carla sees the two of them hugging and is kind of worried that maybe Nicole's thinking about getting back together with Cyrus. So we're gonna have her invite. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go in here. We're gonna have her invite Wyatt out here to distract Nicole from. Cyrus, just in case, you know, just in case that's what's going on here. So we'll have her invite White to hang out the current lot, get him out here. Um, so let's see, White Chad will be right over. Awesome. Uh, so we can have Nicole continue talking to him once he gets here. Because how, how close is their relationship? Or were they friends? Yeah, they're, oh yeah, they're actually pretty good friends. Uh, so let's see, is he here yet? Yeah, I don't think he's... I don't think he's here yet, but he should be showing up here soon. Okay, what is this? We have to go to the bathroom. All right. Yeah, I should probably go take care of that. 
So just as Nicole was getting out of the bathroom, Wyatt walked in and she noticed him. So we're going to have her go up to him and chat with him a bit. So I don't know, we'll flatter him. And uh, yeah, since so she knows him here, we can just have her talk to him, continue where they left off last time because she really did enjoy the conversation they had the night that they met and had been thinking about him ever since. So uh, yeah, she's pretty happy to bump into him here. He doesn't realize that it's because her mom invited him here. Because uh, I think his, I think her mom is still upstairs. Yeah, she's upstairs singing some karaoke up there. Uh, so yeah, we'll just continue having these two chat, talk about handiness. I don't know, maybe we'll have them get a little flirty. Ooh, good friends. I don't know, let's discuss world peace, but... Yeah, maybe we'll have her flirt with him a little bit. Uh, so... I don't know, let's share photos. Uh, perhaps we could even have them have a bit of a duet. And, oh, it looks like Cyrus is back, but I mean, he's got his own thing going on, so... I mean, I don't know, maybe you'll be a little bit jealous seeing her flirt with someone else, but... I don't know. Oh, it looks like the Grim Reaper's back. Yay, I think he left before, but nope, of course he's back, trying to get his pop star career off the ground, I guess. Nice. Wait, who's that, Carla? Oh yeah, I think that was from Carla. Oh, she learned that he's a bookworm, that's nice. Yeah, I feel like these two actually get along really well, but um, yeah, I think she'd be pretty upset if she found out that her mom was trying to set her up with him. I mean, it's a nice gesture, but it kind of shows that her mom doesn't think that she can handle, you know, picking the right person or, you know, like, that she can find someone good enough on her own. I don't know, it's kind of insulting in a way that her mom would do that. Uh, I don't know, let's flatter him. I don't know, should we talk about politics? Maybe we should leave uh, the job stuff out of this. Yeah, she probably wasn't breaking for politics anyway right now. Uh, looks like they're excited about that. Ooh, let's ask about his career. I yeah, just kind of ask what being, as a doc what being a doctor is like and all that. Wait, did... I don't think she was flirting with him, but that looked kind of flirty. Uh, so let's see. He learned that Wyatt is a doctor at T-Po's Medical. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's have the two of them sit. Okay, maybe not maybe not over there together because Cyrus is right there. Uh, is there? There's not really nice, cozy. I don't know. They can they can sit there together because I just want them to sit somewhere together. Um, probably not in the same room as Cyrus because that might be a little bit awkward. Okay, you gonna come and sit up with us? Come on, Wyatt. Yay! Yeah, so let's see if we can get things off the ground with these two a little bit more. And I, I, I feel like this is a nice distraction from everything going on with her father. You know, kind of pleasant to see him and be able to take her mind off of things. Okay, no, don't don't talk to that guy. Sit here, please. Okay, well, they can just talk there then. Uh, or we could have them sit here together. I don't know, I just really wanted them to sit somewhere and chat with each other, but that seems to not be working. Oh, there's Chloe. Uh, so anyway, we'll tell that engaging story. And then hopefully they'll actually cooperate and sit. Yeah, it's difficult to sit, get Sims to actually do what you want them to do sometimes. Okay, he needs to pee though, so... Probably should let him take a break to do that at some point. Okay, well, looks like he's not going to be going to the bathroom then. Uh, ooh, maybe since this is free, we could have them do that duet. Yeah, let's sing a... Pop duet with him, since I did miss her singing the duet with her mother. Okay, now stop doing that. Let's sing the duet with Wyatt. Okay, you'd better not take take over this. Okay, good. Uh, you're staying a little close. Can, thank you. Thank you for getting out of our personal space. Okay, so we can just have these two sing a nice duet. Uh, it is getting, ooh, it is getting pretty late though, so I probably should ever head back home. But she's having a good time. Yeah, I mean, if anything does come of this, it's definitely going to be slower moving than, you know, what's going on between Cyrus and Milo, but then it's a different relationship, different people. There's also a lot going on in her life right now. Oh, he is not a good singer. Ooh. Okay, well, hopefully he's a better doctor than he is a singer. Oh jeez. He sounds you know what he sounds like? He sounds like a seal. It looks like they're having fun though. <laughs> oh, he's so bad at singing. But it looks like they had a lot of fun though. Uh ooh, let's have them take a picture together. That's always fun. Then we get to take a picture get a picture of them taking a picture. And uh 
What else? Rave about favorite singers. Oh, look how close our relationship is. You know, I feel like we could ever get a little flurry. Let's let's try it. Let's. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's ask with FP single first, just to just to kind of make sure. You know, she wants to be sure of that. She doesn't know. And uh, yeah, looks like he is single. So you know, let's have her get a little flirty. We'll just compliment her. Compliment her. Uh, compliment his appearance. Ooh, he seemed to like that. Uh, I think he's a little uncomfortable from having to pee, though. So we probably should let him do that. Wait, is he leaving? Oh, he might be leaving. Yeah, uh, yeah, we should probably let him go. Uh, but yeah, at least we kind of got somewhere with that. So I'm just going to leave this part up here. And next time, I think I will go back to Cyrus and Josh. I mean, I know we've got a lot going on with... Nicole, but you know, I also want to get back to Cyrus to continue, you know, Cyrus and Josh to continue what's going on with their life. And um, I also wanted to give myself a little bit more time to really think about where I want to go with this because I mean, I do have ideas as to what I'm going to do or how this whole thing's going to play out, but I just want to give myself a little bit more time to really think things through. But we'll be back with these guys in three weeks, so that's not too long a wait. So we'll kind of we'll continue on with this then. And I might have some kind of machinima in the beginning of part 23, which I think is the one we'll be back with these guys. Maybe showing a bit of what happened when we were with Cyrus and Josh. Um, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll think about that. But yeah, I'm going to leave this part off here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.